Okay, so in this video I'm going to cover how to use a while loop to approximate a function using a series sum. Uh, this is going to follow the, follow the note 17b uh, and specifically we're going to focus on problem 1. Uh, so the goal of this exercise is to use a while loop to add series uh, to add terms to a series uh, in order to approximate a function. In this case, our function will be exponential of x. And so uh, the way we're going to do this is uh, we're first going to start with defining the actual function that we want to approximate. So uh, let's say exponential of 5. So x equals 5.00. And our target equation is the exponential of x. Oh, x, x. OK. Uh, so right now we've really just defined uh, this part right here. So x equals 5 and target equation is exponential of 5. Uh, and so next what we're going to want to do is define our, the, the approximation. So this is going to be our series sum uh, and what we're going to start with is just the first term in the sequence. Uh, this might not make sense immediately but uh, once we get later on it'll probably make more sense. Uh, so we're going to start with the first term. Uh, and now we want a metric to see how different these two equations are. Uh, and we're just going to do that by taking the difference of them. So difference equals target equation minus series sum. And we actually just want to consider the absolute value. So let's just take abs difference. Okay, so uh, now we want to specify uh, like how accurate our answer should be. Uh, the way we're going to do that is by using a threshold. Uh, threshold is 1 times 10 to the minus 6. You can also write this using 1 e to the minus 6. It's usually a little bit faster. Uh, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to make it much clearer. Um, and uh, so. So again, our goal is to add terms to the series sum until it reasonably approximates uh, this target equation. Uh, the way we're going to do that is using a while loop. Uh, and so the way those work is basically um, you have while and then some conditional statement. So uh, what a conditional statement is, is it returns a true or false value. So let's say one for example, like you would expect 10 to be greater than your threshold. So 10 greater than 1 e to the minus 6 returns a 1. Um, but if we had 10 to, uh, 1 times 10 to the minus 6, uh, or minus 10, rather, uh, threshold, we would expect that to be false because obviously 1 times 10 to the minus 6 is bigger than 1 times 10 to the minus 10. So it returns a zero. So uh, what we're going to do here is say, while the difference is greater than our threshold, uh, we're going to do stuff. So just do stuff. Uh, but one important thing before we go in is we want to be able to count the number of terms that were added. Uh, and the way we'll know that is by how many times the while loop um, is executed. The way we're going to do that is by defining a counter. In, in this case, we'll just call it count. And we're going to start it with count equals 0. Um, as I said, this is going to be a, an estimate, not an estimate. This is going to exactly tell us how many terms uh, were added to the sequence. But one thing you might notice is that we already have one term of the sequence. If we go back to the slide, you can see this is the first term. Um, and the reason that we're making it zero in this case is really just to make the algorithm uh, to add uh, a term just a little bit easier. Uh, at the end, we'll, we'll go back and add one to account for that extra term. Uh, so count equals zero. Now we can do stuff. <laughs> uh, so first, uh, we're going to count. We're going to add one to the count to denote that we've gone through this while loop one time. And then we're like. Like we said, we're going to add a, a term to the series. So series sum equals what we already had plus 
And now we want to add this new term. So this first term is going to be x, and then the next term is x squared over 2 factorial. Uh, and so it might be kind of hard to come up with. But usually in these problems, like that is the hardest part, is coming up with how to write this. <laughs> um, so in this particular example, we're going to use x to the count divided by factorial factorial count. Uh, and so uh, the first time through the loop, uh, it, it should be pretty clear that we're going to add x. Uh, and then the second time through the loop, count will be equal to 2. And so we're going to add x squared over 2 factorial. Uh, if that doesn't make a lot of sense, uh, that's a really important thing, so make sure you take the time to, to sit and think about why that actually makes sense. Um, okay, so then another important thing is that we're going to have to redefine our, our difference because uh, currently it will have uh, the, the difference between what we originally had, this, so this target equation minus 1, and it's not going to be the same thing as 1 plus this new term. So difference equals target equation minus series sum. And that's our new series sum. Uh, and then I think that should be it. Yeah, so if we run this, as long as we don't have any errors, we should, uh, well, for one, nothing should come out to the screen because we have our semicolons where they should be. Uh, and we should get a number for how many terms were added to the sequence. Uh, so I ran that, and now I'm going to print count. And we get 22. So again, um, we had count equals 0, and then, we, well, we already had one term, so we'll have to make count equal to count plus 1. So count equals count plus 1. And I'm going to make a new cell here, just to so we don't have to run all of this code again. Uh, and so I'm going to just add 1 to count, and then print that to the screen. And so we can see it took 23 terms uh, to accurately approximate this sequence, or this, this equation using our sequence. Uh, so that's it for this video. I will go a little bit more into depth uh, into how, how we could use a for loop to evaluate this function for multiple values of x. Um, later on, I'm going to show you how to use a function. But for now, uh, if you understand this, uh, you'll be in a good place for the other videos.